Hey guys, Trey back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our SVG um, tutorial. So basically, in the last video, I explained what an SVG is. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. In today's video, we're actually getting to the nitty gritty. It's time to code. So once, like I said before, SVGs are just XML. So we're literally just gonna be writing an XML file. In order for us to actually view this as we're coding it, I want to create a, a like a server, like a local server that I can run this on so that we can actually see the image as we're working on it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is create uh, two files. I'm gonna create an index.html file where I will um, put the SVG file into so that we can actually render it on screen. And then we'll also create the actual SVG itself. All right, so the SVG file will be thumbnail dot svg all right and that will create our thumbnail file and then we need to create our html file so that we can render it on the screen so we're going to say touch index.html and now we have our uh, uh, html file so i'm going to go in here i'm going to use a shortcut that i have that generates the uh, template for xml Next, I will add in our SVG. All right, now we have our SVG here. So it's just an image tag. We're gonna use the source as our thumbnail SVG. So I did dot slash, that means just look in this folder and find our thumbnail dot SVG. And that's what the alt is SVG image. All right, and that's it. That is our uh, index.html file. So what I want to do is actually serve this locally. I'm going to do use this by using the HTTP server um, package from NPM. So if you, I, I installed it globally, so I don't have to install it here. Um, but if you wanted to install that, you would do NPM I, and then you do HTTP dash server, all right? But I already have it installed, so I'm gonna do NPX HTTP dash server, and then I'll do dot, basically saying run this, uh, run the index.html in this folder. And then I will um, put a port of 3000. So dash P and then 3000. All right, so now my server's running. So I'm gonna go back here, open a new tab. And now we have this here. So we see the alt because we don't have an image yet. All right, so that's good. We know that that's running. Um, you could also statically serve this file by, if you don't wanna do the HTTP stuff, you can just go here and you can literally just type in the path of your file. So if you get the path of your file, type it in here and you can uh, just paste it and it'll, it'll show up here. Right now it won't because we don't have a, a anything in the file. So it's saying this is not a valid XML. All right, so now that we have all of that out of the way, let's go here to our thumbnail and let's actually start coding. So as we know, this is an XML file. So I want to put a valid XML header up here. And that's what we're doing. We're saying that it's standalone. That's great. The next thing we need to do is add an SVG tag. So here's our SVG header. Um, I've already kind of went through and got all the dimensions out of here. So you can just uh, paste those dimensions. Um, here, this preserved aspect ratio is basically meaning if the image is stretched, it will try to preserve the ratio um, that is there already. And then this is just a link to the actual specification of the XML. So next up, I want to define our CSS classes. So remember I told you you can have CSS classes in your SVG. So we're going to go ahead and define that. So here we go, we have the this defs tag. And then inside of here, it's gonna type in style. And inside of there, we put our uh, CSS. So we're gonna have that purple style that you saw um, on the words and on the background and everything. So we just this is that style right here. So we're gonna use this anywhere we want to use that, that purple style, all right? The next thing we want to do is add in our big rectangle in the back, okay? So right now we can't see anything. Let's, let's refresh. Uh, see, nothing's here. All right, but it's not giving us an error anymore because this is now at least a valid XML, as you can see. All right. So let's go ahead and add that big rectangle in the back. All right. So this is the tag. So it's rect. And then we're going to apply this class, this purple class that we put up here. So it's just, just like HTML class, 
write it in. And then this is the position on the screen that we wanted. I'm just going to put it at 120, 120. All right. And then we have um, the width of the width and height of the actual um, image, which is this rectangle. And then these are just rounding out the borders. So uh, the corners, I mean. So the corners will be rounded. So let's save this and actually go take a look. You should see it. There it goes. Boom. We have the rounded corners and it's purple. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right. So the next thing we want to do is add in a couple of ellipses. And these are going to be that circle that was in the middle. And then the kind of Saturn ring that was going around the uh, outside. So I'm going to add both of these in now and explain it. So we have the center X and the center Y. This is just the position of the ellipse. And then we have the width and the height. Because this is not a circle, we have to define both. And then we have the, the radius X and the radius Y. So this is just uh, showing how wide to make the radius. And then we're making it white. All right, that's what that is. And this second ellipse is just um, the same thing, pretty much. Uh, you know, slightly different values. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Refresh, all right, we see that we have this, the white ellipse around the back, and then we have the purple ellipse going on the inside of it. So, um, I forgot to mention, with SVG files, it, it renders kind of like how a painter would paint. So, as you see, we put this rectangle first, then we put this the white ellipse, then we put the purple ellipse. And as you can see, it kind of layers on top of each other. So we wrote the big the rectangle first, then the white one, and then the purple one, which goes inside it. And that's the order it's rendering in. So it's not going to show the white on top of the smaller purple ellipse because we wrote the white ellipse first. All right. So it's kind of like the, anything later is going to be on top. All right. I think there is a value to be able to change like the Z index of certain things. But uh, we're not using that today, and I'm honestly not sure how to even use it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is write that circle in the middle that you saw in the image. All right, now that we're back in our code, let's go ahead and do the circle. So now uh, the circle is just a circle tag, and then we do the center X, center Y. We do radius, and then we set it to be white, all right? So this is, this is very simple. As you keep going, just... You just fill in the th different things. So if you guys are actually looking for where I'm getting these properties from, they're right here under geometric properties. If you go to the specification and click on the shape that you're doing, under geometric properties, that's where you'll see these. So if we go back to the ellipse, we see the CX, uh, CY, RX, RY. So these are the things that you'll, you'll, you know you need to put in in order to get the, the component to render, all right? So let's go back to our SVG file. As we can see here, I'm actually doing the from the file instead of here in our local server. And as you can see, both of them are matching. Uh, we have our circle now. All right, so let's go back to our code. Next, I want to go ahead and put all of our words on the screen as well as that um, there was a center uh, purple uh, rectangle here and we wanna put that in as well. All right, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use um, groups. So there are, there's a such thing as groups in the SVG specification. And these groups allow you to take um, a group of components and put them together and actually apply styles and different things across all of that group, all right? So I'm gonna do that next just to demonstrate that. All right, so here we go. So here's the group. You denote that by a G tag. And then I'm going to apply this purple class across the entire group. All right. And then in here, this is the first time we're going to see this text tag. So it's just text. And then we'll have X and Y. That's basically telling you where to put the text. And then we put the actual text inside of the tag. And then close it out. That's it. It's that simple. Um, so uh, we also have this rect. We've done that up here. So it, should be, it shouldn't be uh, unfamiliar. And this is basically that back that, that uh, purple background uh, rectangle that we had. And then the rest of this is just the other text that was in the in the file. So this is pretty much it. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go back here, we're going to refresh, and there we go, boom. There is our thumbnail. This is 
the thumbnail is that simple um, SVG is great because these like if you scale this it won't degrade like with PNG or J JPEG or any of that stuff when you try to stretch the image it degrades but since this is just a set of rules on how to draw the image it will never degrade and that's why it's called scalable vector graphics because it's it scales very well all right so this is great for logos and things like that um, that's pretty much it here we've learned how to code it this is it this is the code I'm going to take this image and I'm going to put put it as the thumbnail for these videos and that's pretty much it um, I, I definitely advise you to check out the specification and learn all the different neat things you can do with SVG because there's a lot and you can pretty much draw pretty much anything um, if you're if you're good enough <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.